Hi, folks. Jonesy here again. It's time for part two of our mobile native demo series. This time, we're going to be talking about the mobile application owner. If you recall in the last segment, we walked through how do you actually instrument your native mobile app with Dynatrace. And we walked through just how easy and automated the process is. Typically, five steps and you've got your instrumentation in place within your app and you're starting to send telemetry back to Dynatrace. Now that the telemetry is coming back to Dynatrace, let's have a look at what it provides an application owner. So if I'm an application owner and my responsibility is that native app, and I need to know everything about it in terms of not only how are users interacting with it, how are they seeing the performance how are they you know what is the experience of those end users what's the overall view of this application is it healthy is it performing well is it crash free is it error free are users from different locations getting the same experience all of that type of information is available for an application owner this is exactly why uh, for example big banks i mentioned this in our last segment you know, have gravitated and used Dynatrace's native mobile monitoring so often when they're monitoring how their users are interacting with, um, you know, those native apps. That's because for those banks, that's the primary channel that those users interact with them. People are very reluctant to go into branches and nobody does banking uh, or hardly anyone does banking on their, uh, you know, desktop anymore. It's all being done through a native app. So it's critical to make sure as an application owner that you've got great visibility into what's going on. With Dynatrace, out of the box, what Dynatrace is going to do for an application owner, it's going to immediately start providing experience metrics. How are users experiencing that particular application? We show that here on the screen in terms of what we call an AppDex rating. You can look over time to understand how many user actions, how many users are interacting and using my applications. I can understand how many times or when are we seeing new users starting to adopt my application. We can even see things like the app version and distribution over time because with native apps, what's happening is you're constantly adding new versions or new builds of those native apps and you're pushing them out into uh, either your Android or uh, Android or the Apple stores for people to be able to actually interact with them. But that doesn't necessarily mean that people are automatically using the latest and greatest version. So being able to track versions over time and then be able to filter on specific versions of my application so I can zero in as to how my users are interacting with that, that's critical. Again, over here on this screen, if there are issues or problems with my application, Dynatrace immediately brings that to the attention of the mobile app owner. You can see here that we pull out the user actions. These are when users are interacting um, you know, with their native app, Dynatrace is creating a session and is capturing what that user is doing. Everything from the, use, from the application starting to say when the user is logging in or doing some function. Dynatrace automatically captures these user actions and then tracks them over time and baselines them to allow you to understand what specific functions are users doing that might be leading to behavior that you don't want. So if you're seeing a, a particular action is slow or more error prone, that will be pulled out by Dynatrace. We can also uncover and understand you know, where our users are coming from. So, you know, we can break this down, you know, by country, we could break it down by region or state or province, we could even break it down to the individual cities. So if you find that you've got users on the East Coast that are experiencing your application in a different fashion than users on the West Coast, Dynatrace will be able to pull that type of information out. Now, Dynatrace also provides more technical detail information as well. It will provide information in terms of the web requests. So if your native application is using third-party we're going to pull that information out so we can actually see what's the impact that those third-party requests are having on my application. 
We can see things in terms of the errors and crashes. We'll, we'll go into that in more detail in our next segment. But we can also see things like data privacy, making sure in this particular case that Dynatrace is not collecting any sensitive or PII data, anything that could potentially cause a privacy issue. Dynatrace can be used in a very secure GDPR compliant fashion. And then also we can track the underlying services. Again, we'll go into that level of detail in the next segment. But before we wrap up today's segment for the application owner, this view that we're looking at is what Dynatrace provides out of the box. But remember over here, when we're analyzing the performance of these user actions, we're capturing everything that the users are doing. Everything from the application starting to when they're logging in, they're searching for something, they're interacting with something, we capture every single one of these actions. So we're capturing the entire user journey. Now for an application owner who has, you know, wants to have an understanding from a business perspective as to what users are doing, we can actually create visualizations or dashboards that are specifically tailored to that mobile application owner's needs. An example of this is this mobile user journey dashboard. We use a feature of Dynatrace called USQL, our user session query language. And what it allows us to do is, it allows us to pick out very specific functions that users are doing. And I can create, in this case, a funnel. So I can understand that when a user's starting their session, how many users are coming in? How many abandons are we seeing off of that particular entry point? How long are users spending on that particular function or that particular um, session, you know, part of the session? If there's any crashes that are associated with that, we can pull that out as well. And then here you can see we're more interested in what users, once they've started up the application, maybe the next function that we're interested in is understanding when they're searching for something, when they're logging in, ultimately getting to a purchase. So we can actually capture that complete end-to-end -end flow from a business perspective and, and understand if abandonment, if sessions or uh, in this particular case, uh, the actions are taking too long or if we're having crashes at specific parts of that user journey that are impacting that user experience, we'll know about it. And so these dashboards, you can create any sort of visualization from the metrics that Dynatrace collects that you want. But this one is specifically tailored towards the business needs and the business functions of an app owner. So that's it for this session or this particular uh, part of native mobile monitoring. We covered app owners. I invite you to come look at the third and final segment, which will be a little bit longer, where we're going to talk a little bit more about Dynatrace uh, mobile native monitoring for DevOps practitioners.